So in a game like Fortnite, you're often gonna find yourself in some pretty nerve-wracking situations. You know, this can cause you to panic and choke, simple edits and miss easy shots that you would normally hit, you know, if you weren't under pressure. You know, after experiencing this over and over again, guys, like you may wonder how you can avoid it in the future and why you're panicking in the first place. But your crunch time, where you at your motivation guy? That's right, I am back. And today we're gonna be discussing exactly what tips you should have to really avoid panicking and choking in high pressure situations. Are you guys ready for this? Yo. Let's get this going. So let's say you're in a tournament and behind on points. So you need to make the game you're currently in count, right? It starts off smooth, but that eventually changes when you get pushed by a skilled opponent and you begin to get really, really nervous, causing you to miss every shot and just choke all of your edits. You know, I know it's easy to really fall into this without really knowing what to do next and feeling like you can't think anymore. But this is where stepping back and reminding yourself to focus on the objective really comes in, guys. With the objective in this situation being to win the fight in any way possible. And this is because, you know, without an objective to really focus on, you may put yourself in a never-ending chain of not knowing what to do and panicking because of it. So an example of how to counter this would be to box up and just quickly think about, you know, what you can do to win the fight. Then fully going for it without hesitation. You know, this could be something as simple as just noticing they have a good peace control and just reacting to it, you know, by keeping your distance and just going for peak shots or playing aggressively with good counter peace control. So this works since, you know, it gives you something to really focus on and eliminates the thought of losing and not knowing what to do. And so next time you're nervous in a fight, guys, put this use to avoid panic. All right. You know, another way to really avoid panic is to regularly practice under pressure. I say this all the time on my Instagram, man. Practice consistency. This is what you got to do. All right, so this means to play things like scrims or to compete in all tournaments. So WK and Arena, you know, and so on and so forth. Like the reason this works is because you're going to be constantly be challenging yourself in fast paced environments that require tons of focus during intense situations. So if you do this every single day, man, like you're going to be training your brain to get used to situations that make you nervous. And over time, you're gonna panic less and less while under pressure, which will allow you to think more, man, and just know what you're doing when it matters the most, as well as really increase your problem solving skills. And so this can also help you guys shake less when you're nervous, meaning you're gonna hit more shots and edits that will also assist you when needed. And so I encourage you right now to practice often, you know, as you can. Like you may lose more fights at first since you're forcing yourself into the problem you wanna solve, but it's the best and fastest way to solve panic for good. You know, have you practiced for hours but still find yourself panicking the worst at times? Well, ProGuys.com might have exactly what you guys need, for real. Like we've got an army of incredible pro coaches standing by 24 seven to help you out. They're gonna play right alongside of you to help you figure out exactly what you're doing wrong. And then they're gonna teach you exactly what you need to do to improve. All you need to do is just click the link in the top right of this video to get started. So this next tip may sound kind of obvious and it also might seem like something you can't just have since lacking it is, is the reason you panic in the first place. But you need to have confidence in yourself and really trust your skill, guys. Like sometimes it can be as easy as just telling yourself, you know, you're confident and then just really believing it. You know, this is gonna push you into that necessary mindset of knowing you're better than your opponents. And it works because when you tell yourself that you are, man, it definitely is gonna make you play like you are. And so you gotta go into the game with that mindset, just knowing that you're the best. Like having that confidence, it really does take you a long way. And also, you know, since you're actually feeling more confident as well, like you have a higher chance of winning all your fights and it's definitely gonna boost your overall self-esteem every time, you know, you play. And this is one of the most important barriers that you have to break through guys in order to quickly grow your skill. So you just look how confident the pros are. Like they wouldn't be pros if they panicked all the time during these intense situations. So remember to consistently remind yourself that you're confident in your skill at the beginning of every fight and rotation, right? And you're gonna just be breaking these nerves situations that you're in. And you're gonna notice that, you know, your improvement is really, really happening. So just make sure that you're still making safe and smart plays and you know, you're gonna feel this new boost of confidence. It's gonna be great. Now, you may be wondering how you can be confident if your opponent has faster mechanics than Booga. But what if I told you that your opponent's mechanics usually aren't as important as you think they are? Like many players have very fast build and edit speeds because they play a lot of creative and focus and really focus on their speed more than anything. A lot of these players don't actually have the greatest aim or decision-making skills, like which means that they probably have a 
higher chance of choking the fight than you do. Of course, you should still have, you know, a good counter piece control to avoid being boxed up and eliminated, but who knows, like, they may be panicking even more than you are, which could be the reason they're building so much in the first place. And I'm not saying this is the case with every player who has fast mechanics, all right? I'm definitely not saying that. But what I am saying is that mechanics aren't everything in Fortnite. You know, quick building and editing speed just assists you by allowing you to have more options to really work with when you're fighting. For example, like if two players are fighting and one of them has slow mechanics but is very smart, while the other has fast mechanics but fully relies on that to really win their fights, the smart player with slow mechanics will most likely win. Another example is if, you know, one player has slow mechanics but good aim, while the other has fast mechanics but horrible aim. In this case, the player with good aim and slow mechanics will most likely win. And this can be backed up by looking in the past, you know, when controller aim assist was very strong. You know, keyboard and mouse players were constantly angry because, you know, they would often do things such as outbuild and peace control their opponents just to be out aimed and lose the fight. And so next time you find yourself up against an opponent who's faster than you, remind yourself that using your brain and aim can easily win you the fight. Also, if you practice your mechanical speed and creative, you're even going to have an easier time while fighting when you pair all these things together. Watch your crunch time. Okay, guys, it's time for the question of the day. Today, we want to know, like, what makes you panic the most in Fortnite? Is it when someone tries to get into your box or, you know, do you freak out the first time someone even shoots at you? Hey, let us know in the comments. You already know we're going to check out every single one of them. All right, let's get back to the video. So another way that you can constantly improve your mindset, guys, to avoid panicking is by learning from all your mistakes. Oof. I know I say this all the time, but you need to be vibe reviewing. It can be really used to help you improve everything. Usually vibe reviewing is just thought of as a way to really learn from your mistakes so you just know what to do next time, you know, you're dealing with a similar situation. And it is, like, but it'll also give you a boost of confidence since you're going to know exactly how to handle different challenges that you often find yourself in. And this boost in confidence means you won't be panicking as much. And so you should definitely be taking advantage of vibe reviewing. I say it almost probably in every video, but a lot of you guys are still not doing it. I'm telling you, this really, really works. So you can do this by just going into your in-game replay system after having a loss that really leaves you wondering like what you did wrong and just really watch back your mistakes to really find out what you should have did to really win so that if you get in the same situation next time yo you're gonna do way better all right so the next tip to avoid panicking and choking is to stop negatively judging yourself while playing you know example of this is if you're constantly thinking your mechanics and decisions are bad while you're fighting and this will actually make you perform under your skill level since it completely throws your confidence down the drain and will cause you to focus more on yourself than on the opponents and so to avoid this guys you need to put your full attention and focus on an objective like we talked about in the first clip of course this doesn't mean to stop thinking about your plays before making them but it does mean that you need to trust yourself and not view yourself as a bad player while making them the last tip for this video guys is to remind yourself to stay calm while fighting like every once in a while you might find yourself too far into panicking for any of these other tips to work so what you can do to really help with that is really to spread out you know, with a couple of boxes and remind yourself to just calm down. Like most of the time, you're gonna have a few seconds to do this in a fight. So you gotta tell yourself that you're a better player than your opponent and that you can be confident in your skill. So just take a deep breath if you need to and then tell yourself you're gonna win the fight. This works more than it seems like it would, I'm telling you. But I encourage you to try next time you're feeling nervous or you're panicking because when you're able to take a deep breath, everything slows down and now you're able to think about what your next move is going to be. And so I just encourage you, like if you need a couple breaths, build around you a little bit, you know, get some security, take a couple breaths, think and just think and just think and just, man, just, just kill it. You got it. Put your crust on me. Before we get to the end of the video, we got to do a quick recap of what we talked about. All right. So while fighting, you should definitely focus on how you can outplay your opponent to really give yourself a goal to think about and eliminate the thought of losing. You should constantly practice, guys, under pressure to get used to intense situations that, you know, would usually make you nervous. And you can just tell yourself that you're confident before fights and rotations in order to boost your self-esteem. Try not to worry about how fast your opponent's mechanics are because a player with fast mechanics can easily be outplayed by a player with good aim or smart decisions. VOD review your mistakes to learn how to handle different in-game challenges. This is going to result in higher overall confidence. Stop negatively judging your mechanics or decisions while in game. You know, it's only going to lower your confidence and cause you to perform under your actual skill level. And lastly, if you're too far into panicking for any of these other tips to work, I'm telling you, you could just spread out other boxes, you know, get some protection around you, take a couple breaths and just allow yourself to start thinking about what your next move is going to be. You can do it, man, but you have to believe in yourself. 
bunch of good stuff me. Okay, guys, if you focus on everything that we mentioned and you really just keep perfecting your play, man, you're going to be sure to excel in high pressure situations. And if you guys want to keep on improving, hey, check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. I believe in you, man. Don't be frustrated with yourself. Keep going. Keep climbing the ladder and you will definitely make it to where you want to be. If you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure to connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I'll see you on the next one and uh, keep eating that bunch of crunch and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.